Hello and welcome to Mad News. Max Korn here, Cub Reporter, bringing you all of the relevant Mad News. Um, before I get started, shout out to my patrons. Uh, 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 Kyle Bridget, Andrew Goldfarb, Casey Ori, and Rod Mead Sperry. Thank you so much for your support. I hope I can continue earning it. If you want to help support this channel, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, Patreon.com slash flipping through or just hit like, subscribe, and share out this video, or leave a comment below. That's the easiest way to help this channel. Um, with that, we got a lot of mad news here, um, and I want to start off with the thing this week, or the past two weeks, that has made me most happy to see, and that is this right here, this beautiful illustration from uh, Noah Van Skyver's um, Instagram account, Noah, uh, Noah VS Comics is how you can find him on Instagram. And it is uh, titled Fonte E. Newman. So a mashup of one, I probably his most famous character. Um, I guess maybe his only one, Lincoln. You, you can't take credit for Lincoln. Um, Fonte Bukowski and Alfred E. Newman mashed together in, in a pretty classic way. I love this. As you can see, I... I I said a swear. I was so excited to see this, um, and it's in his beautiful style. Uh, I am. I it got me thinking. Like, what other, what other characters exist either that are have been created by mad artists or even just out in the world that now will never have a chance to be uh, numinized on the cover of Mad Magazine. Here, I mean, look at this. Is like it's a cry and shame. Uh, that <laughs> Minions got Newmanized. Minions got to be turned into Alfred E. Newman. Uh, but there are so many characters who haven't. So in a, leave a comment below. Let me know what character you want to see Newmanized in your, uh, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. What do you want to see? Next up, another uh, Mad Magazine alumni and friend of the show, um, Kyle Bridget. He has been doing some live streams um, three days a week. Like he's coming out hardcore. He's uh, listening to some cool music and uh, just talking. Um, so I don't know. I just brought up this one randomly. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens in this. Oh, we got a question here. And if you speak about the mm. I had to fist fight any other mad artist who would you pick? Well, that's a tough one because it's a good question. Few, uh, mad artists that couldn't beat me up pretty good. Um, hmm. Hard to say. A lot of them were kind of scrappy, right? They grew up in New York and in the. I guess in the 30s and 40s. He's avoiding the question. Especially the early ones. Um, I guess I'd go with Dalton Vaughn. Drama alert. <laughs> Is it? Hopefully it's not too transparent the way I baited him into a controversial question. Uh, but anyway, really it is... Um, I mean, as I'm recording this, he is live right now, and I'm, I've had to pause it just so I could come and record this. They're very entertaining live streams. It's fun to watch him draw, his musings, and his excellent choice in music. So go and check him out. Cozy Little Nostril. Um, you can, uh, yeah, co Little co I'm sorry, Little Cozy Nostril. I'll leave the link down below in the description of this video so you can check him out. Definitely, you should support him. Um, now, uh, some sad news. Um, we have uh, the passing of a tangent. This is tangentially mad related, but um, Dick Culpa. Uh, Dick Culpa passed away. Um, this is from the Daily Cartoonist. Um, and he was a an artist. And he was a comic strip artist. He did the, the Bruce Lee comic strip. He did the Star Trek comic strip. And then what makes this a little bit more mad related is that he was, uh, he worked as both editor and publisher of Cracked Magazine, probably like the longest lasting 
direct competitor to Mad Magazine. So Dick Culpa had um, a pretty big role in cartooning history as well as um, pop culture history with those comic strips, Cracked Magazine, and he was the co-inventor. He was the publisher of Weekly World News, and he was, uh, he was uh, I guess, a co-inventor of the Bat Boy. Um, I would say one of the more famous... One of the more famous things to come out of Weekly World News was Bat Boy, and he, it was his fingerprints all over that. Now, there was something else related to this that I wanted to bring up. I found um, this on, the, on Reddit, and it says, this is from his daughter, and it says, My father, Richard Culpa, sadly passed away January 3rd, 2020. Um, words alone cannot express the hole in my heart left behind with memories and, of course, regrets. Fortunately, he spent the last two years living with me, his youngest daughter, my boyfriend, and my four-years-old little boy. He has many websites, and I want to do my best to preserve them, but also create a memoriam website in his name, honoring him. And I guess my stepbrother, Bat Boy. If anyone out there would like to voice how he influenced their childhood, share memories, share photos, there are several articles out there reporting his death and devastating hardly describes the impact it's having on those who loved him most. I just know my dad wanted to make it big. He had so many ideas. He loved his career, but he didn't realize he had already made a huge impact on the culture that has gone down in history. Please submit anything to me. Um, she's looking for uh, this daughter of his. She's looking for some... Um, fan thoughts um, or, you know, from fans, from artists, from whomever. And I, I know that a lot of people who watch this channel are also really into Cracked Magazine. So I thought I would pass this message along to you and see if we can't get her a lot more attention around this and, and get some really cool stuff to her. Um, and so she can honor her, her father in a way that, um, that will, will make her happy. So, um, yeah. If you uh, pass this along, please, to anybody else. Up next is um, a birthday. A birthday of somebody who would be 100 years old now, um, which is Antonio Prochias. And uh, I'm going to switch over to the web browser and then click here because his daughter has... Um, Before Americans knew him as the cool creator video. of the famous Dueling Spies, Proyas was a popular editorial cartoonist in his native Cuba. His work appeared in the most influential dailies and news magazines. But Proyas was often the target of official censorship. In a cartoon published in El Mundo, Proyas drew a humorous and stinging caricature of Fidel Castro. But Castro would not tolerate the criticism. Proyas was accused of being a CIA operative. He saw no... So his daughter posted this cool video. I don't know who made this video. I'm assuming she did. Um, and then following this introduction and explanation of her father's work, um, a song. I believe she's a singer and she created the song to honor him. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, somebody uh, who has had a massive, massive impact on Mad Magazine and pop culture also. So uh, happy birthday to Antonio Prochias. Um, you're turning 100 years old today, 100 years young. Um, and another birthday, uh, the great Bill Morrison, who obviously he worked as the, um, the, the editor in chief at Mad Magazine and Bongo Comics. Uh, he worked, uh, did an amazing artwork and art direction for the Simpsons and, um, Futurama. And it was his birthday. I don't know, because a gentleman never asks somebody's age. But anyway, happy birthday to you, Bill Morrison. It was a pleasure having you on this show, and I hope you have um, a great day. I think I'm late. I think I'm a day late. Anyway, uh, so with that, that is all of the news for these past couple of weeks. It's been some slow news days. Um, but if you guys have any tips or leads or anything that you think is newsworthy for the next episode of Mad News, um, let me know. Just send me a message on Twitter, on Instagram, leave a comment on one of these videos. 
Either way, I'll be able to get it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Toodaloo.